been saying for a hot minute that I was gonna talk about communication, but I literally just, I can't. I, I really can't. Like, I've tried to, I've tried to take a step back. I've tried to educate myself. I've really tried to understand what's going on lately in in the world. And I, I, I can't put communication in front of this. Like, I just can't. Like, after seeing the Epstein documentary and um, after seeing, uh, you know, the Wayfair stuff and then his girlfriend whatever her name is Maxwell going to jail and all this stuff coming out like this has been happening in front of our faces this whole entire time and, and I'm just completely disturbed because the people that put into society that this stuff is unacceptable and you know you shouldn't do it are the same people who are doing it if I, I just went and watched the documentary last night out of the shadows and I know I personally might be a little bit more of a conspiracy theorist, but like now, like I'm, I, I know I'm not. In the past, people have been like, okay, Rachel. But now I'm like, okay, I've educated myself. There is facts to document this. There's facts to back it up. Like, I mean, I'm talking like a mile a minute because I am just like, I guess I'm just so passionate about this because it all ties back to like going back and being authentic and being real and being honest and, you know, like, when I was a little girl, I would just like try to uncover it all because I'm a curious person. And then, you know, getting older, I was a pretty good private investigator for a lot of my friends, man, and they got caught, you know, red handed and just like, I put all the pieces together and, you know, like, or I would just, I would just send some things off or, you know, like I just knew stuff, you know, and now with this all coming out, like with the Black Lives Matter movement and you know all these people dying and they don't have voices and like Brianna you know she's still there's no justice for her um, you know and that's the thing and now all this sex trafficking coming out like these children don't have voices and people like us who have seen this or have like knowing it to be true 100% fact because it happened in front of their eyes or they were in that kind of a community like these people need to speak up because those children don't have a voice you know children being kidnapped and I don't know maybe being put into these cabinets and shipped to people I don't know like the the whole thing is such a mystery but there's so much of it that like there's so much truth or there's so much evidence that it's a mystery but you know there's a there's a high probability of truth to it, you know, and it's just like, it's burning in my heart. Like, you know, we have to stand up and we have to do something like we can't let injustice happen. And, you know, it's so funny because all this stuff is coming full circle. Cause yesterday was actually the one year anniversary of the one year anniversary of me quitting my job. Like that took so much from me or out of me or, you know, that made me diary of the scorn time shirt queen. You know, so, and a lot of the reason why I quit is just, it wasn't me. It wasn't what I stood for. It wasn't right. Like, caught in the action, red-handed. Nothing, like, illegal, but it was just, like, that's not morally right. Like, this is not the boys' club. Like, you know, so yesterday, like, after being a year out of that situation, like, that just kept playing through my mind. Like, authenticity and speaking up and, like, standing up for what's right or standing up with for what you feel is right you know and that was a lot of the clash because I would stand up and call stuff out at work and I was getting like the buffer or the backlash or like swept under the rug so now all this stuff is coming out about Wayfair and Epstein and you know Clinton and all these all these high powerful people and hearing about Pizzagate and how that was swept under the rug it's like holy balls like we can't let this one go like we can't like I've been following this girl I believe it's little dot miss dot patriot on Instagram and like she's just going and going and going and going and digging back the layers of like George Sorrow and like I mean even Britney Spears came back up and I was like I've always thought that was a weird situation but now um, after reading about the hashtag free Britney I'm like oh my goodness and it's funny because I was talking to my friend and from Canada and I was just saying like you know 
I remember doing a project about North Korea when I was younger and thinking, oh my gosh, like I would hate to live in a society like that where like their media is so blocked and they only have like two or four channels and like their government controls what's on the channel and you know, oh my gosh, that's so scary. Are we not far from that? Like what in the heck is going on? Like I'm not a Trump supporter. And I'm not a Trump not supporter. I, I'm just not educated enough to take a political stance at this moment. Now, do I feel like at, with everything's going on, I need to? Sure. But as of this point, no. But looking at the numbers of Trump putting away sex traffickers, you know, versus all the other presidents, that's impressive to me. So I, I support that. But it's like, holy man, like, what more is going to come out? Like, oh, I like, I'm almost like this, not because I'm excited, but it's like, finally, somebody is like poking the bear. Finally, somebody like stirred the pot and finally somebody lit the fuel and like stuff is starting to be uncovered. And, you know, it, it's kind of a fearful time because it, it's like a ticking time on. We don't know what's coming, but we know something's coming. But, you know, it, it, we all have to look at it and say, you know, if we want to be real, we want to be honest, we want the truth, we, we want to know society for black and white. You know, I, I, I've been on this self-discovery journey of, like, being real, raw, and honest, and I guess maybe that's where more of my feel or my fire or my passion is coming from to learn more about this and educate myself about everything that's happening is because I don't trust the media anymore I don't trust I don't trust a lot of people anymore you know so I have to take my own stand I have to do my own investigation I have to form my own opinion you know to be able to decide how I'm gonna perceive all this and you know that's the big thing that I challenge you all to do because a lot of us stay either uneducated or falsely educated I want to know both sides of it and then I want to look at both of them and say, okay, I get this, I get this, I agree, I disagree, I disagree, I agree. You know, and for my own opinion, like me and my significant other obviously do not like agree on everything, but it was funny because he started watching Out of the Shadows halfway through and he knew what it was, but it was like everything I've been saying for the past couple days before this came out or before we were watching it was like coming out and I'm like you know and he obviously he's not gonna say he's a true believer but you know it was just funny because I was like see look there's more than just me it's on Netflix you know blah <laughs> second source now that is the most reliable source or actually it wasn't even on Netflix it was on I watched it through YouTube so sorry I should say that but anyways, yeah, watch Out of the Shadows, you know, that gave me a whole different perspective of, like, things I've seen, like, Lucifer, the TV show, that came through my mind. Um, like, those uh, crazy horror flicks where they had, like, the pig heads on them. I don't know the name of the movies, but I remember them within the last five years, and I remember, like, they were wearing, like, the gowns with the pig heads or animal heads and I'm like that's creepy but like some of the things I'm like oh my gosh like throughout the whole thing I was like I've seen that I've seen that so watch it and it, you'll make more sense of what I just said because I don't want to ruin it for anybody but yeah like holy 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 man like we me and Jeff do not agree on everything but it, it, like I think he's starting to be a little bit more aware you know he's kind of one of those like can't teach an old dog new tricks but it's happening like as much as you want to believe in the good of people like not everybody's good you know and I found that out a couple years ago and maybe I'm a little bit more of a cynical person than he is but but you know it's kind of funny too to not to get off on another top topic but seeing is believing um I've been kind of interested in Kangen water and you know I've been watching all these platforms and you know whatnot so I've I live in Vegas and I'm driving down the street like three weeks ago and I'm like, what? Kangen Water? Like there's a store? So the girl that I talk to regularly about this on Instagram, um, she's like, yeah, go check it out, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I am like almost 97% sold. Like I want to do it. Like I want the machine for myself to be healthier. I want to sell it. You know, I want to spread the word like to create a better, like better holistic world. You know, because I'm kind of into the holisticness versus the other side. So, 
I'm like, you know what? I want him to go because he's kind of like, okay, I need a water machine for five grand. That's so stupid. Blah, blah, blah. But whatever. So he was kind of in the store and he's, you know. So it was just kind of cool because after we left, even though he didn't have the best experience because one of the owners had like a weird vibe. But um, I left like, yes. Like I felt like I accomplished something because like even though I can talk until I'm blue in the face, he needs a second or third opinion to like consider something, you know, that he's not already on the bandwagon for. So it was kind of cool, but yeah, you know, small little victories, celebrate the small victories. And it's kind of funny because I'm laughing. I was thinking about this topic, the, the whiplash, so to speak, of like all this stuff coming out and like how you have to investigate it for your own self. I was up at like two o'clock this morning and I was kind of laughing at myself because obviously I was typing out my blog that I posted. So if you do follow my blog, I did post about this too as well on there. But um, on a side note, I was like, you know, it's so funny looking back at all my blogs and blogs. They're kind of all coming back together because all this right now is just kind of like one of those whirlpools kind of like stirring up all the good stuff and the bad stuff and, you know, like. I'm kind of deciphering through who still I am and kind of deciphering like what feelings I want to keep, you know, things I don't need, like getting rid of my limiting beliefs, like what my plans are moving forward, how I want to brand myself, like working on everything. Like I wish there were so many more hours in the day because my schedule is kind of wonky with my other half traveling. So I only have undivided time by myself seclusion for like two and a half days, which I don't feel is enough. but. I do work throughout the rest of the week, but it's just like, oh, I just need like three and a half, four days maybe, but it is what it is. But yeah, so that's why some stuff is not as fast as I want it to be, but Rome's not built in a day and um, my vision is not going to be built in a day either. So, but yeah, you know, I just say like, open your eyes, see it. It's funny because so many people, like, Nevada's back in phase one for a lot of things. Um, well, not a lot of things. The bars are. But, like, we're all mandated to wear these masks. Personally, I've seen both ends of the spectrum. I've also seen what it can personally do to you by wearing this. And that's why I don't agree with it. There's many, many, many different precautions we can do besides this. But that's why I'm choosing to stay home more. But this is my mask. This is my bandana. Because all it has to do is a face covering so maybe even like I don't know but here nor there I'm not really supporting this but you know that's another thing you know they're telling us that we have to do it but it's it's cute because I've seen a lot of posts on Instagram Facebook and I actually have seen some businesses saying uh, no mat or if you wear a mask you're not allowed into my business you know, and I'm seeing so many, oh, well, we were wrong about this, but this is how it is now. Or like, well, we put this out, but it was really this. And it's like, there's so many inconsistencies that I'm not going to worry myself or get scared about it. And I'm not going to lose my freedom because you're telling me I have to wear a mask versus suggesting that I have to wear a mask. So, you know, this is, <laughs> I kind of want to hold my hand and go like this. But you know what? We're in such a crazy, volatile time. Don't be a ticking time bomb. Be nice. Try to understand. But also, too, don't sit back and close your mouth. Stand up for what you believe in. But there's a nice, unmalicious, unviolent way to express how we feel to others. So, you know, it's just so crazy. I All I say is buckle up and hang on tight because there's a lot more to come with this show. Maybe get yourself a side of popcorn and a big gulp um, water or soda or whatever you want to drink because the show's not ended and it's only the best is yet to come is my favorite tagline. You know, and it's just, I, I just felt like I couldn't sit back and not talk about like the whiplash of everything that was coming out and not tell you guys to investigate for yourself, um, to form your own opinion, but also like see both ends of the spectrum, not just one or the other, don't be closed off, you know, see both of them and then form your opinion because it's, it's, it's not, it's not okay to be one sided. But it is okay to be see both sides and then agree with a side after that. Um, and there's a nice way to, you know, stand up for what you believe in. We don't have to be violent. We don't have to break things, you know. Innocent people don't have to be harmed. But the, the problem of it is they are. You know, so... 
by being silent and not standing up or not helping out or not not bringing something to the surface or not saying no you're wrong or no I don't agree with that you know any chance you get like I don't know now's the time to get right with yourself and now's the time to like get right with the world and understand things because you know it a lot of stuff's gonna happen and it's gonna happen fast the sleight of hand and you know a lot of people are gonna miss things but I'm gonna tell you don't be blind take your blinders off take your baggage off um, I I challenge you to live life completely different than you used to because life is going to be different than it used to be like 2020 was the year that shook the box and we're still waiting to see where all of the pieces fall so uh, yeah I'm gonna wrap it up and stop mumbling but yeah I mean if you guys definitely want to talk about anything um, follow me on Instagram Rachel Britt 24 um, message me I'm always open for help suggestions or just even talk like if you if you are feeling the same way I'm feeling I'm here for you too as well but yeah um, stay tuned for a lot of stuff to come maybe the communication will come a little bit later but right now I'm like speak up listen see what be aware of what's happening but yeah that's my message and I will see you guys all soon